I wonder if there is an anti-logo movement going on at the moment because there seems to be a lot more interest in bags that don't have a logo. Does removing the logo make a bag instantly look more classy and more elegant? Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I want to talk about this. I think it's slow moving at the moment, but I'm noticing that in the luxury community, there is more of a growing interest in bags that don't have a logo, but also bags that are um, less expensive. And I massively think that the state of the economy globally has got a huge part to play in this. A lot of us are spending less, like I've said to you before, I, I do still buy bags, but they're bags that are like a thousand pounds and under. Um, I, like I love Coach. The economy has made my love for Coach even bigger than it kind of was before because I love that you can go and spend money and buy something that's actually quality and you get a lot for your money and it's not break the bank. But I have got here um, about five bags I'm going to show you. They're logo-less and I really feel like with them they are classy, they're elegant. I want to give you some ideas about bags that you could consider, things, including one that you will, unless you saw a video I did back at Christmas, you will never have seen this bag before and it's so cool and it's like 140 pounds it's not expensive i'm also going to style everything in this video with clothing some of which you can see here and if you watch the video i'm going to number each outfit so that if there's anything that you see that you like you haven't got to because i'm going to put links in the description okay to all of the clothing items i want to make it so that you don't have to go and scroll forever to try and find the item i'm going to group it by outfit okay so if you watch this video if there's anything you like um just grab the outfit number that i've called it you can go to the links below i'm not going to use any affiliate coupon codes there's no affiliate links um so if you click if you shop if you buy i don't profit from any of this all of the clothes are from a brand called goelia and i'm not sure how many of you have heard of the brand but they've been going since 1995 and they have an ethos that i really like their ethos is about selling affordable clothes but clothes that are anti-fast fashion clothes that are that have an ethos that is to do with buying less but buying quality so that when you buy things you can wash them they don't wear out they don't look tatty very quickly um, and things that you can buy that have got a, like an investment theme to them in so much as that they're not going to wear out they're going to look good there's there's no like wacky styles or anything that's feels very 2023 you can wear them into the future and i like that and i also like that they're and i'm going to talk about this more in this video but their use of materials their use of fabrics the fabrics that they use they use things like um cashmere's wools cottons silks like different types of silk depending on the product the first non-logo bag and i have two versions of this one I'm going to show you, which I showed you back in December, and I don't know how many of you saw that video, but for any of you who didn't, this might be something that you are interested in. Maybe not in this colour, but in the second colour I'm going to show you, and it is this. This is a handmade crocheted bag, and I found this lady on Instagram. And you can, she does this style bag in three different sizes. This is the medium and you can pick any color you want. So you can pick the flat color, the body color. Um, they all come with a tassel, although the tassel is removable. And what I love as well is it comes with a Chanel style kind of crossbody chain, which is also removable. But on the inside, you can custom pick the color of your lining. And when you order, she sends you an email and it kind of is like, oh, what colour do you want your lining? And she confirms the colours that you want the bags. And um, you can pick. And she must have like 20 or 30 or something crazy different lining uh, colours and patterns to choose from. I feel the need to talk to you in a little bit more detail about this dress. This dress is heavy. It's weighty. It's made from wool. Uh, but again, a bit like with the trench coat that I may have shown you at this point, although it's made of wool, it's not it's not like a fluffy type material. It's just heavy. It's weighty. It feels premium. It feels expensive. It comes with a belt that belts around the waist and it's got a very discreet sort of quite elegant gold clasp there and the belt comes in a little drawstring dust bag. This top is a funnel neck. 
it is 100% wool and it's seamless. So up the sides, it's been um, knitted, as you would say, on the round. I knit um, because it relaxes me. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's how they put that together with no seams. But it's got no seams on it, which I think creates a really nice um, silhouette. Couldn't not show you close-ups of this. This is one of my favourite things that I'm showing you from everything, including the trench coat is another of my favourites. This is a tulle skirt. Very, very like the Dior skirts, which are like six or seven thousand pounds, the ones that look like this. And if I come in closer and show you, it has got glittery polka dots on it and it's lined on the inside. So I don't know if you can see there, but the, the lining stops there and then it continues um, down and it's the perfect length. I'm going to show you this with um, one of the tops, but I'm also going to show you it with a Dior t-shirt to show you how you can get that Dior look for a lot less. So I bought that back in December and I loved it so much that I wanted a version of it that went with more because styling gold and white, you have to have a very specific type of outfit to get that to work. And in my head, I thought I really want to get one in black. And I, so I decided to do it. So I got the same, the same size again. Um, and if I come in closer, you can see there is a sheen to this fabric. So she does two types of fabric. One fabric is matte and one has a sheen to it, like a metallic uh, element to it. And I decided when I chose this bag, I thought, oh, do I want to get it in matte or do I want to get it all in like a sheen kind of metallic? And I thought this was quite good because I like the way the sheen brings out the crochet. You can really see that on there. And this was about, well, it was originally 140, but because I bought the gold and white version, she'd given me a 10% off coupon, um, which I ended up using towards it. So it ended up being about 125, 120, something like that. Hun yeah, 125. And you know, considering that she hand makes them, it actually turned up pretty quickly and everything's packaged really nicely. So go check her out on Instagram if you're interested. The next that I'm gonna show you is a bag which I highly recommend if you want something that is designer but you don't want a massive logo on it and it is this bag. This is from Fendi and it does have a logo but it's very discreet. If I come in closer and show you, the logo is just there on the clasp that opens and closes the bag. Very, very discreet, you can't see it. And when the bag is actually open, you can't see it at all. Fendi actually had a price rise on the 2nd of April and um, I mentioned this before, but for any of you interested in this bag or in any of their other bags, I still think that they are reasonably priced, but the prices are going up. And so I would say that if you've been thinking about getting one of these bags, if you're in a financial position to do so, think about doing it because the prices are only going one way. I do feel that with Fendi, their price rises, they happen, they seem to happen a lot less than with other brands. Um, and as I say, I still think that their bags are well-priced considering what you get for the money. This was around about, I don't even think it was quite 3000, you know, from memory, I think it was the top end of the 2000s. And when I found out how much it was, I was surprised based on how much bag you get for your money. You can fit a really good amount in here. I love the way it looks. I like that the more you use it, the slouchier the leather gets. Um, I'm trying to get mine to go like that at the moment because mine's still, because I really look after my stuff. Mine's still quite new, but I'm trying to get it to kind of loosen up a bit. Now there are two trench coats in this video. One is uh, short, cropped, and one is longer. This is the longer one, and this is made from wool. Again, a really heavy material. Um, I love the way it flows. Although it's wool, it's got like a floatiness to it. So it's warm, but it's not like, um... when I say wool, you would imagine like a fluffy material. It's not. It's not that at all. If I come in closer and give you a give you a view, if you're familiar with um, if you're familiar with the Burberry trench coats, feels pretty much the same as one of those actually. The next that I have to tell you about is from Lorna, and I purchased this bag last year. Um, September but I didn't actually get it until December because with all of their bags all of their bags are custom made to order and when you order you go on the website and it's not a case of like you pick the bag in the picture and they post it to you you 
choose the bag shape and size that you like and then you can customize all aspects of it so you can pick the color of the sides the body the flap and the handle as well as you can pick the color of the lining and on this i've gone for the pink suede uh, on the lining and on the side this color is called icing pink from memory pretty sure that's right yes icing pink now this does have a logo on it but that logo the logo i feel is one of those that if you know you know if you don't you don't it's not kind of like having dior written across it or the double c's where it's really obvious what that is if I come in closer and give you some close-ups of this, this dress is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to come in close and show you some close-ups. It's made from a tool type material and the neckline, like a lacy kind of thing, the neckline is gorgeous. If I just do this up, because I've had it, because um, I was trying it on, I, it's undone. And so what this is, is the outside is made of lace. And then the actual dress on the inside is like a mauvey colour and it's like a slip dress which is stitched inside the actual uh, garment itself. This I paid around about £2,090 for but now it's more than that. Can't remember how much off the top of my head. I'll put the price in here of how much it is now in this size. So this bag is called the Traviata bag and it kind of does remind me in a way of the Hermes Kelly bag and I love that you can custom order whatever you like i also like uh, another thing to quickly mention is that with the lorna bags you get a mirror that has the logo on the back and there's the mirror there and i i really like that i think that's a really nice touch this shirt i'm gonna come in closer for most of this because with these clothing items they have so many little details on them that you can't see when I'm stood far away so with these items as I say I'm going to come in closer and show you but this is the most beautiful blouse I really love the long lapels on it and the material is a heavy weight material with everything that I'm showing you everything feels weighty everything feels heavy um, even the items that are made out of lace they've all got a weight behind them nothing feels flimsy nothing feels cheap um this also has this really nice um kind of pleating on the arms as you can see there so like that pleating that goes through and this is made from an acetate uh, mix material it doesn't have a stretch to it but you wouldn't want it to um and with all of this i've taken my regular size so i've, I've taken a uk size 10 in everything now for the final bag one that i've shown you before but i don't think i've shown you it for a little while and it's one of my favorites it's one that i use a lot and it is this which it this is a quirky design okay there are going to be some of you who are like what is that that's weird it's meant to look like a croissant and the style name of the bag this is from senrev and the style name of the bag is um oh what's it called now cornetti and cornetti apparently is italian for croissant it has got pockets on it so on the front it's got a pocket there which goes all the way over to here and it has the same thing again on the other side a zip pocket which goes all the way over to there it opens the chain handle i'm going to come on to that because that didn't come with the bag the bag opens like this so it's almost got like a wire frame and then it snaps back closed again it did come with a crossbody strap like chain handle but the chain was very dainty and I don't even know where that chain is now. Do you know that? I'm not sure what I've done with it. But the chain was very da dainty and I didn't love the chain. And I thought this bag needs a chunkier strap handle. And I knew that you could get these on Etsy. These like Bottega style um, handles. So I ordered one. It wasn't even more than £30, you know, it was something like that. And I clipped it on the bag. And as soon as I did that, that was when I kind of thought, yeah, that's what this bag needed the whole time. But I think if you want something that doesn't have a logo that's more trend, then this is a good one to go with. It's not it's not necessarily a classic. Uh, it's not a classic shape. It's very much like stylized. But if you do want something like the Balenciaga uh, pouch bag, you know, they've got one which is very very similar if you want something like that but you don't want to spend that money this it was well under a thousand pounds like well under i don't know how much it is now it's also made of cactus leather and you wouldn't know it feels like natural leather i don't know how they've quite managed that but that is a really good bag as well just to jump in here and talk about this and the trousers which i'm wearing this top is knitted so and i'm going to show you some close-ups here if I come in closer and show you, 
it has got a stretch knit to it. It is incredibly soft. I've also washed, I've made a point of washing the items that I'm showing you because I wanted to be able to come to you and not be wearing something brand new that's never been washed and be like, wow, doesn't it look amazing? I wanted to be able to show you something that's been washed before. This I have washed as well as another top I'm gonna to show you and a shirt. And I just wash everything at 30 degrees with like colors, so like lighter colors. Um, and I use the Aerial liquid tablets and that's all I do. And everything has come out perfect every time. So that's the first thing. These are the trousers and the trousers are like a suit material. They're a thick, thick material. They also contain 7% elastane. So they're not really, really stretchy, but they do have a stretch to them. And I also love the way they've got the vent up the front. I think it's really flattering. It really elongates the leg. And these are the kind of things that you could wear with heels or you could even wear with sneakers completely. Please let me know what you think in the comments about logos. Are you over them or are you really not? Are you really into your logo bags? I have to say I like a logo, but I, oh, I was gonna tell you where I'm using my non-logo bags. So I've found that I'm using them a lot when I go and get groceries or go and get petrol or do something locally that I don't really want to carry a big designer bag for. And I'm reaching for these so often now, even when I go out for like a walk or something and I need a bag with me, I'm reaching for these bags. I'm not reaching for the bags that have got the big logos on. And actually things like, I've got some classic flap bags, which I'm really, really pleased that I bought back when I did before they got really expensive. Um, they were expensive at the time, but not like now. Like now they're really, really expensive. And because they are so expensive now, it almost puts me off wearing them because I don't want to ruin them. I don't want them to, like, I don't want to be a target for a thief. And so it almost puts me off using them. And I, But I love them and I love looking at them on like my bag shelf and they, they do make me smile. I do like my bags. Um, but yeah, it kind of has put me off slightly using those bags but let me know how you feel about all of this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video